and girls, it is story time, and I'm going to be sharing a few stories out of a book that I have in the classroom that we've been using for our read-alouds after lunch. It's called Rise Up, Ordinary Kids with Extraordinary Stories. This is just one of the many, many books that I have in my classroom to help um, promote and teach kindness, inclusion, and respecting diversity in all walks of life. We have been reading some incredible tales in here about ordinary kids, just like yourself, all around the world. And today's story comes from a woman in the U.S. and it's called The Legendary Life of Lizzie Velasquez. I'll show you the picture and then I'll go ahead and read. Hey, skinny bones, pork chop legs, grandma. Five-year-old Lizzie could hear the names being called as she walked toward her new classroom. She was confused. Who were these kids shouting at and why? She noticed that some of the girls and boys were staring at her and whispering. Are they talking about me, she wondered. Lizzie looked around. Everyone was looking at her. Suddenly, for the first time in her life, Lizzie realized that she was different from other children. She wanted to leave school immediately. Lizzie had been looking forward to starting school. At home with her family and friends, Lizzie had never felt out of place or unusual. But at school, no one had ever seen a girl who looked like her. Some kids didn't want to play with her, and others teased her. Lizzie would go home every day and cry. Lizzie's parents told her to hold her head high and ignore the names. But it was very, very hard. Lizzie looked different because she had been born with a rare disease that meant her body could not process food properly. Because of this, she was small and very thin. She had no sight in one eye, and her features looked big on her face because of the illness. As Lizzie got over her initial sadness, she realized school life also had its good side. She made some great friends, girls and boys who liked her and didn't care how she looked. With the support of friends and family, she got through her school years, studied hard, and passed her exams, and even became a cheerleader in high school. But as Lizzie grew older, she had to deal with a new source of torment. When she was 17 years old, she found a video of herself on the internet called World's Ugliest Woman. She was so hurt and angry. How could people be so mean? They didn't even know her. They didn't know how kind she was or that she was funny and loved to laugh with her friends. They judged her because of her looks. She understood that growing up did not mean an end to the bullying. Some adults who saw Lizzie's photo online posted cruel messages saying that she should stay at home where no one could see her. Lizzie was faced, has faced a lot of challenges in her life and she has learned a lot from them. Experiencing others' negativity has made her want to be better than them. Lizzie realized one day that she had a choice to decide whether to have a happy life or an unhappy life. It was all up to her. She decided to use her anger to prove the bullies wrong. She would end up the winner. And that's exactly what she has done. Lizzie dreamed of getting a college degree, writing a book, and becoming a motivational speaker. Through hard work, she has achieved all these things. Lizzie is now an inspiration to people all around the world. She has stood up on behalf of many victims of bullying and shown that her experiences have given her the power to find kindness within. Lizzie's message is always positive and stresses the importance of kindness and love. She knows that life can be hard, 
and sometimes disappointing. But with the right attitude, you can overcome these hurdles and be happy and confident. She has taken her life into her own hands and made it awesome. And the thing I love about this book is that it goes on to share some information. And there's a little section about what exactly is bullying. Here it says, bullying is any behavior that hurts another person. It can be physical or verbal, being mean or making threats or name calling. Being ignored or left out is also a type of bullying. Bullies sometimes use social media to send photos and messages. That's called cyberbullying. <clears throat> bullying can happen anywhere to kids or adults, at school, at home, at work. If you're being bullied, always ask for help. Never keep it to yourself. Tell someone you trust, such as a friend, a teacher, or a parent. It can be hard to stand up to a bully. I know. Sometimes it's best to walk away and find an adult to help you. If you are being targeted on social media, block the bullies and report the behavior to an adult. If you think someone is being bullied, try to be a friend to them. This will let them know they're not alone. Remember that this is not your fault. Nobody has the right to bully anyone else. Now, here's an activity that you could do after this video. It says make a compliment jar. I know in, in our classroom, we love to end our day with compliments. It's a great way to end in a circle uh, of kindness and expressing our appreciation for other people. So it says you can do this with a friend or on your own. <clears throat> Number one, cut 20 strips of paper. Think of 20 nice things you like about yourself and write one on each piece of paper. Fold the compliments and put them in the jar. Decorate your jar with pictures and stickers. Screw on the lid and tie a ribbon around the neck of the jar. Whenever you feel sad, take a compliment from the jar and read it to remind yourself how great you are. You will instantly feel better. So we could take that a step further. Make a compliment jar for yourself and then make a compliment jar for your family or for the world. And always, always try to focus on the good. Choose kind, and it'll make the world a better place. That was the extraordinary story of Lizzie Velasquez. Do you agree she was just an ordinary girl, but she turned her situation and found a way to become extraordinary? Thanks for tuning in today. I love you all.